We had barely set up our cameras at American Medical Response in Manchester Wednesday morning when Cruz had to leave. A heroin overdose just blocks away a very familiar call following what was the worst month of the year for AMR. We had 67 heroin overdoses. Uh, we had 10 fatalities. It's sad to say that it has become routine, but last week AMR responded to an overdose that shift supervisor Chris Hickey says was unlike anything that they've seen. With someone is literally rotting away in front of you, uh, it's it turns the stomach of even the most seasoned provider. And when the addict was revived, he told Cruz that he believed he had injected what's known as crocodile. It's pretty much the dirty sister of uh, morphine and heroin. So far, crocodile has only been a problem in Europe and in the southwest U.S. Basically, instead of cutting or mixing heroin with the painkiller fentanyl, dealers are using cheaper alternatives. A lot of times it's cut with something like uh, gasoline or uh, the ground up red phosphorus from the tips of matches or drain cleaner. And this is the result of mild cases of crocodile use. We can't show you on television just how bad it can be. But back to the morning call, the responder says this overdose appeared to be garden variety. Narcan had the user up and walking just minutes after they say he was on the verge of death. And they also say the chances are they'll see him again. Oh, a great likelihood that we will see, see him again. And that's because for so many addicts, the pull of heroin is almost unbeatable, no matter what it's cut with or what the consequences are. Josh McKelvin, WMUR News 9. At this point, Manchester police cannot confirm the crocodile has made its way to the Queen City, but do warn that dealers could be mixing the heroin with just about anything to try and maximize profits.